So I'm going to be showing you how you can upload a file to Apollo server in React. So we're going to be starting off with the React code and I'm going to be showing you what you need to add to be able to upload images or files and how that whole process works. So to start off, if you're using Apollo, you're going to have to switch up how you create the Apollo client. So we need to use this special library called Apollo Upload Client and this allows you to actually upload files or images. Now if you're using Apollo Boost, you can't customize the link that you use, um, and that's what this thing is called that we're creating, and this is a custom link. So you're going to have to create um, a new Apollo client using the Apollo client library, and also Apollo cache and memory. So this is what uh, I've done here, is we've created Apollo client using this upload link and then the in-memory cache. Then after that, we can start writing mutations that actually upload a file to Apollo server. Um, so this is what that looks like. Now before we dig into the mutation, um, I wanna say whenever I upload stuff in React, my favorite library to use is called React Drop Zone. And so they have a hook called Use Drop Zone now. And so that is what we're going to use to actually upload a or get an image from the user in React. So here you see me calling use drop zone and it is calling on drop. And basically what the code you're seeing for drop zone is straight off their docs. Um, we have a very simple example here. And this on drop function gets called whenever a image or a file gets uploaded by the user. And we have wrapped this on drop function in a use callback. That way we do not create a new function every single time a render happens. Um, and we are setting the upload file as a dependency. Um, and this is what we're getting from a mutation, but we're gonna talk about that more in a second. Basically, we're getting whatever the file the user uploaded, um, and then now we're uploading that to our server. All right, and this is the actual GSX that we're rendering. So we have this outer div, which we are passing some props in through the get root props. And this is a drop zone thing that it needs these to be able to allow users to drag and drop files and then also the input. Um, so you need to have a div and an input inside of it. And that's basically the requirements for drop zone. And that's where we're passing these two props in. Now this last prop is is drag active. This is a basically an optional prop that you can use. And this just tells you if someone is dragging a photo or a file over the drop zone widget. All right, so this is React drop zone bit, and I kind of mixed it in with some Apollo code. Now you notice this is maybe a new import for you, but Apollo just came out with a beta for hooks officially, um, and so that is what I'm using in this video. And so what it allows you to do is you can write your mutation. So I wrote a mutation out like this, um, and then we can call the use mutation hook from this library, um, and we can pass in the mutation we want to call. And then here I just have some options, so I'm refetching a query, which we'll talk more about in a second. Um, and then you'll notice here I have a array that I'm destructuring and the first thing that I'm getting back is a function called upload file. Um, so this is the mutation that we're going to call and you'll notice the upload file mutation takes one variable of the type upload so that's important. So this is the file that we're going to pass in um, and we're calling the upload file mutation. So what is basically going to happen is the user is going to drag a file onto the input field and once they do, this callback function is going to be called with the file. Um, and you'll notice I destructured this because I only really want one file, but the user could upload more than one um, and then or select more than one. And then after that, this is the file that we get from drop zone. I'm using that file to then call the mutation to send to our server. And we're passing that as a variable called file. So what do we need to do on the back end side to be able to receive this mutation with this file in it? So this is what it looks like for Apollo Server Express to set this up. Um, so that's what I would recommend using for it. Um, so it's actually quite easy because Apollo Server has uploads built into it, at least handling um, the promises and the stream stuff for you. So here, this is what we're gonna focus on is in my type defs, I say, in, in the mutation because I want to write a mutation for the user to upload a file called upload file and then the variable that they pass in uh, or parameter is called file and it's of the type upload and I just had a boolean true or false and then in my mutation this is what it looks like so I'm saying 
upload file, we take one file variable, and what this is going to be is going to be a promise that returns uh, basically some different metadata. One of those pieces is called create read stream, the other is file name. So this is the file name of whatever the user uploaded. So we're going to use that to name the file. Um, and secondly, this is basically how we get access to the data associated with the file so we can do whatever we want with it. Say, save it to the file system and then read it back later. So here I'm saying await a new promise. Uh, and then I'm saying wait for the response. Um, and then we're saying create this read stream so we can read the, the data from the file. And we're piping this data through a write stream. Now this write stream we are getting from the file system. So this is a node function. And here I'm just saying the path to the file that I want to create. So this is basically, uh, I wanted to go up a directory into this images folder here, and I want to give it the name of whatever this file name is. So if I upload bob.png, this will go into the images folder as bob.png. And then lastly, whenever the uh, this closes, that means the pipe is done. That means we have basically piped all the data into the file. We are closing the stream. Um, and ending the response really is what that's going to do and so that's going to finish and it's going to wait and then lastly I'm just adding the file name to a uh, array to keep track of it. Now to be able to kind of see these files that we're uploading I added one bit here where I'm keeping track of the file names and then um, down here where I'm creating my Apollo server I say app.use and I'm using express I say slash images, so this is a route that I'm creating. And what I told it to do is I said express.static, so this is going to render static uh, files. In this case, it's going to render our images. And you'll notice here I just said path.join. Um, path is coming from Node as well. This is usually what I like to use to get the directories to line up. Um, so here I'm saying uh, dir name. This is a special uh, node variable that gives you the path to currently where you are. So in this case, I'm in index.js, so it's going to give us the path to that. And so I'm saying go up a directory inside of images. And so those are all the files that I'm going to basically statically uh, be able to grab. Or whenever I go to slash images slash bob.png, the image is going to be available for me to grab. Um, so what does this all look like in practice? We can see an example. So here is the drag and drop uh, little widget or the what drops in looks like by default. So if I come over here and I have some images that I want to say drag and drop or some files, you can drag and drop it over here. And you notice we can see the image pop here and we can see the image show up um, as well right here. So pretty cool. Um, and one part I didn't show is how I was actually displaying the images here. So I showed you on the server side how we are displaying this or at least allowing uh, clients to access it. But how are we actually on the front end doing this? Um, so this is that files query that I mentioned earlier. So here I'm just grabbing all the names of the files, again using GraphQL, oops, or React Apollo's hooks, saying use query. This is how you use it. We have data and loading. I wait for the loading to finish. And what it is, I loop through each file and I display an image and we're displaying, you'll notice here with the source what this is, uh, the path is we go to localhost 4000 slash images slash the name of the file. So that's what that does. And we can see it here. And it has a pretty nice end result. We can just easily drag and drop. And you'll notice the UI actually changes when I hover over it. And we can do that. So there you go. That is how you can drag and drop and upload files from React to Apollo server. And all this code is on GitHub if you'd like to check it out.